Welcome. Today we will be disassembling an HP Omen 15T. Uh, this particular model is the 15T AX200 uh, gaming laptop. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the screws on the bottom cover so we can lift it off and uh, get to the inside of the laptop. Alright, once you have all the screws out, um, we're going to go ahead and separate the bottom cover from the rest of the laptop. That little cover there can stay put, it's not a screw. So we will just use a flat edge and go between the palm rest and the bottom cover and just separate the two. Might be easier to see from up here. So just go along the edges and working the, the bottom cover that's going to come off, the palm rest is not going to come up. So once you have it mostly loose, go ahead and turn it back over. And then you can free the rest of the bottom case from the laptop. All right, and as usual, we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery first. So this type of connector has a couple little tabs that you can hold with your fingernails and just kind of work it out. And we'll go ahead and pull the rest of the connector cable out so it's free. And then we can go ahead and remove the screws for the battery. All right, now we'll just go ahead and pull that memory stick, spreading the little bars, and pull it out. And the Wi-Fi card, we'll just go ahead and pull those antennas straight up. And we can remove the screw, and then remove the Wi-Fi card. All right, so the hard drive caddy, um, is not held in by screws, so you want to just carefully pull that up and you can remove the rails and then for the connector we're just going to flip up that little tab and pull it the rest of the way out. There's your hard drive. Alright, now we can uh, start removing the uh, accessory board it uh, looks like the hinges and the display are also pretty open here, so we could, uh, if we wanted to, we could open up the display and remove it. it looks like just a few screws, the Wi-Fi cables, and then the video cable. Uh, we'll just go ahead and disconnect. Um, so for now, we'll go ahead and remove the in-out board, power button, and then the fan and heat sink assembly. So it looks like the power button is a tiny bit smaller fastener than the rest of the screws in the laptop. Uh, this one's a 2.0, the rest have been a 2.5. Alright, so we'll go ahead and flip up the retainer for the power button ribbon. 
Then we can remove the power button. And it looks like one of the ribbons for the in-out board is underneath the keyboard ribbon, so we'll go ahead and flip up on the retainer. Then we'll go ahead and flip that one up for the in-out board. And um, last one looks like it is connected underneath the motherboard, so for now we're just going to disconnect it from the in-out board itself and then remove it from the laptop. All right, so the uh, fans we'll go ahead and remove next. So with this type of connector, you wanna kinda wiggle it up um, with your fingernails. Just get the little tabs underneath the connector. And hopefully you have fingernails because you definitely need them. Go ahead and remove the cooling fans. So it looks like the video cable is in the way, so we can go ahead and flip up the retainer and remove the video cable. Now it is notched on either side, so you're gonna have to lift it up to get it out. You can't just pull it out. And now we can remove the cooling fans. All right, now the display is ready to be separated from the uh, palm rest. So it looks like we have the Wi-Fi antennas here kind of taped in. So once we remove that and we have the video cable clear, now we can go ahead and remove these hinge screws. And once you have the hinge screws uh, removed, um, find a way to swivel that hinge up. This side looks like it's got the DC jack underneath. Um, so once you get it up a little bit, you can use the tip of your screwdriver if it's small enough. Or some other narrow tool and just poke it through one of the holes and then it makes it easier to swivel that hinge back. Some of the hinges can be really stiff, so you might need to kind of work it for a minute, but once you have the hinges open, it's real easy to separate the palm rest from the display assembly. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the heatsink. Now these are numbered um, for reinstallation, so if you're going to reinstall the heatsink, uh, you want to tighten these down by the numbers next to the uh, the screw. But when you're removing it, the order does not matter. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. The thermal paste 
um, can kind of hold on there pretty well too. So don't yank on it. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle to release uh, release the uh, thermal paste and be able to pull the heat sink off. All right, now we can finish removing the ribbons and then we can remove the motherboard from the palm rest. Looks like we got a speaker connector here. Good one for the fingernails. And then both of these connectors you can just pop up with your fingernail. DC jack is plugged into the bottom, so we'll go ahead and leave that for now. And then this ribbon is not stuck with tape or anything, so it looks like we're good to remove the screws. And we'll go ahead and remove the DC jack. All right, so looks like for the palm rest, the keyboard is riveted in, not replaceable. Uh, you have two speakers here that are just kind of held in by a little bit of a grommet. And the touchpad and the touchpad buttons is a few Phillips screws. So if you need to replace those, there's the screws. So that is it for the palm rest. All right, for the display assembly, uh, like most of these, we're going to need to remove the front bezel to access the hinges and the screen. Um, this type, I believe, is also held on with tape. So once you get uh, the bezel starting to separate. Just keep in mind that the inner part is also held on by tape, especially here at the bottom. Um, if you don't get your fingers in there and try to work the tape down as you're pulling it, it can actually pull off part of the front of the LCD screen depending on what's in here. So definitely get a straight edge around the bezel uh, perimeter here. And just kind of work that and then once you have the, the corner of the bezel then you can go around and mostly just work it off with your fingers you can definitely hear the tape peeling as you're lifting the bezel just be gentle. Um, it's pretty thin plastic, so I wouldn't pull too hard. But once you get to the bottom, um, just put your fingers down in there and make sure that part of the screen isn't coming up with the bezel. All right, so this one was not too bad. All right, so we got our webcam, our hinges, and the video cable is underneath. So we will go ahead and, looks like we have some slack. We can go ahead and remove the LCD first. Once you have those screws removed, you can go ahead and um, pull the tape back here. Tape holds the connector in there and it also has a part number. So once you pull it back, um, you want to put your thumb on this little black plastic overwrap so it doesn't pull it with it.
And then at the very end, when you're about to pull off the last bit of tape, pull really gently. Because sometimes what can happen is it just comes off at once and you can actually rip that connector out of there. Sometimes they're retained by a little bar and it will rip that connector straight out. So that's how you remove the LCD. All right, now we can do the hinges. Looks like they're easy to get to and the rails are connected. So four screws each side. It looks like one more screw each side for the little hinge cover. All right, and once we have the uh, left side rail out, then you can pull the rest of the video cable free. So go ahead and separate the connector for the webcam. There's a little slot in the top of the connector. And you use that to kind of help pull it out. All right, so for the webcam, um, you wanna lift it up. It's held on by adhesive, so you wanna lift up from either the bottom or the top. You don't really wanna go in from the edge there because you're gonna kind of bend the webcam a lot when you're taking it out. Sometimes it can be pretty glued in there. But yeah, just from the bottom and it will unstick and just pop out. All right, so that is how you disassemble an HP Omen 15T. Uh, if this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.